Well, happy Blitzgiving or Blitzmas or whatever you like to call your holiday. For football fans in Maine, this is a holiday as we open the season. It's first Friday night of the season. The first Maine, New Hampshire countable game in state history leading the way here on Blitz 8 is Von Eagle hosting Merrimack, New Hampshire. Second quarter, Cam Marcello, the screen pass to Trevor Perkins, takes it down near the goal line for Bonnie Eagle. Next play, it's Perkins. Finishing off what he started, he goes in for six. Scott's up 19-7 at the half. Merrimack driving to start the third, but on fourth down, Kyle Blaney breaks up the pass. That would loom large later. Von Eagle turns him over. Scott's would go up 26-7, but Merrimack would make a game of it. Trent Jackson over the middle to Owen Sadowski for the long touchdown. But Von Eagle hangs on for the 33-27 win. So if you're counting, Maine won, New Hampshire nothing in the cross-border battle. All right, defending state champ Thornton Academy on the road at Scarborough. Trojans up 21-0, but pinned inside their own 10. No problem, just give it to Hayden Whitney. He gets to the sideline, and he's gonna show the speed and the cutback, a 64-yard game. Thornton Academy in business. Next play, it's Ryan O'Keefe. He's gonna hook up with Henry Lozier, 30-yard strike. Thornton Academy all over Scarborough, 35-0. They have Bonnie Eagle next week. Hey, what's Luau up in South Paris? Coney at Oxford Hills. Rams with third and long. Lincoln Merrill of the Vikings, an impact player, making an impact play on one of the first series of the season. The interception gets a huge block from Eli Soren. Hey, that's his quarterback. 47-yard return. It's a pick six. 7-0 Oxford Hills over Coney. First Vikings possession. Tanner Bickford takes the pitch. He had a monster game, seven receptions, 176 yards. Still, though, can't outrun Elijah Claver. How about the effort here? Still good for 77 yards. That puts Oxford Hills in position. Eli Soren, the first of his many touchdowns this year, 412 yards of offense for the Vikings and a 42-6 win over Coney. All right, Lewiston hosting Sanford. Jason Versey, member of the last state championship team for Lewiston, taking over the head coaching role there. Sanford up 13-0 in the break, adding to it. Cam Suey up the middle for the score. It's 20 to nothing. Then LJ McFarland, the TD run. And Sanford with a 34-6 win over Lewiston. Sanford has Dover, New Hampshire next week. All right, Edward Little on a 22-game losing streak, hosting Mesolonsky. EL up 22 to nothing with under eight to play. The pitch to Garrett Card. He gets the edge. Mesolonsky's up 26-22. EL's ensuing drive would stall, so they got a punt. And I'm sure this is how they diagrammed it beforehand. The snap over the punter's head, and Austin Selinger grabs the Hail Mary from Drew Smith, and it's a first down. The drive continues. A few plays later, Tate Morse to Bennett Dubois. What a one-handed grab. Under two to play. Morse to Selinger at the goal line, and he plows in for what turns out to be the game-winning score. 28-26 EL. The 22-game losing streak is over. The Eddies now are trying to start a winning streak. Now in Class B, Marshwood in contention for its for a fifth or a five peat that is after winning four straight state championships. The Hawks though a tough road challenge with contender South Portland tonight as South Portland looking to start the season with a win of 14-0. Kevin Cougar gets the Hawks on the board from five yards out. It's 14-7. Red Riots respond. Pool, party of one. Jonathan Poole, 17-yard score. South Portland up 21-7. Marsh would return the ensuing kickoff to make it 21-14, but Poole does it again, 21-14. Or rather, Hawks, or rather, South Portland goes up 14. Hawks respond. Kevin Cougar from 15 yards out. Marsh would down 28-20. But in the fourth, Jalen Jackson with a touchdown pass to McCoy Murphy. South Portland, an impressive 35-26 win over Marshwood to open the season. Chevris and Falmouth going at it tonight in the battle of the brothers. Peyton Mitchell, the senior QB for Falmouth, and brother Brady playing for Chevris. Who are you cheering for in the Mitchell household? Peyton Mitchell rolling out, rushing for the first down. A few plays later, Finn Caxton Smith finishing off the drive. Falmouth goes up 13-6. Chevris has an answer though, Matthew Fogg. The defending eight-man champions looking pretty good tonight in 11-man football. Fog deep into Navigator territory. A few plays later, Joe Osei with a short touchdown, but Falmouth would rally with a 26-20 win. Navigators opening with an impressive W. Defending Class C champion Cape Elizabeth at Gorham. First quarter, Michael Foley, who was the center last year, 
QB this year takes it in for the score, 7-0 Cape. Gorm answers back. Isaac Young, one of their 17 juniors, airs it out to Cordell Jones, who's going to carry it into the end zone for the score. But the Capers roll from there. They're going for the 48-26 win. Gorm has South Portland next week. Class C battle, York at Levitt tonight. Hornets moving the ball early. Noah Carpenter finding Calder out in the flat. One of his two touchdown catches. Levitt up 8 0. Now, if the Halloween candy's in the grocery store, it's not too early for some trickery. Will Keach the give, and then the halfback pass to a wide open Sawyer Hathaway, 16 0 Hornets. In the second, Carpenter, the great pump fake, finds Brett Coburn over the top, 50 0 Levitt. They have Portland next week. Carpenter threw for three, ran for one. All right, Westbrook opening up at home against Wells. Blue Blaze a score on the opening possession. Gavin Turner up the gut for the score, 7 0 Westbrook. Later in the first quarter, on fourth down, Thomas Lewis, the TD pass to Aiden Taylor. Hey, Blue Blazers are up 13-0, do you believe? But Wells gets it going from there. Michael Lewinsky up the middle for the touchdown, one of his two scores on the ground. Brooks, Fro uh, Brooks Fox threw for two scores, 35 13 Wells comes back to win tonight. All right, state championship rematch. Foxcroft and Winthrop. What a game this was in Winthrop. Wild one. 13 7 Winthrop in the third. Foxcroft's Kelmsley Marsters, though, is gone. And we have ourselves a ball game. Winthrop gets it back, and they're backed up in their own end zone almost. Gavin Gregor back to pass, throws it up, and that's a ball Nick Keezer's going to out jump anybody for. Grabs it, and he is gone. The only guy who's going to catch him is his coach, who still runs a 4 5 40, though. 21-14, Winthrop late. Foxcroft rallies in the fourth. Wyatt Rayfield to Jadon Richard and makes a great adjustment on the ball and takes it in. We're tied at 21. It would go to overtime. In overtime, Rayfield finds Caden Crocker. They make the kick. They're up 28-21. Winthrop scores to make it 28-27. They're stopped, though, on the two-point conversion. They thought they got it. They didn't, according to the referees. 28-27, Foxcroft walks away with the overtime win. Freeport hosting Lisbon tonight. Second play of the game. It's Jordan Knight. Up the gut. Showing us that breakaway speed. 60-yard touchdown. Freeport had a quick 7-0 lead. Next possession. Freeport, hey, they like doing that so much they're going to do it again. Aiden Heath this time. Keeps it himself for the score. Falcons with a quick 14-0 lead. Lisbon then gets on the board. Jimmy Fitzsimmons keeps the pile moving and Gets into the end zone, but it was Freeport capitalizing on that early lead, 35-22 over Lisbon. All right, let's do some eight-man. Yarmouth hosting Lake Region. Clippers up big in the third. Lake Region with a chance for a touchdown, but Sam Bradford there. The QB playing some D2, knocks it away. In the fourth, Lakers get on the board. Brock Gibbons, the touchdown pass to Tyler Rowe, but they're down 39-6. to Next possession, Spencer Lebrecht. You try and tackle him. He's gone 60 yards. Lebrecht looking like he could have a big year this year. 45-6, Yarmouth rolls in its opener. All right, Midcoast battle. Rivals, Morse hosting Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat driving on its first possession. But Wyatt Shipley breaks up the play in the backfield. Morse playing some defense tonight. Second quarter, Shea Farrell doing what he did last year, picking up right where he left off. 50-yard touchdown run. Mount Ararat goes up 6-0, but a key play here. They go for two. And Calvin Gould and Braden Cunningham combined for the stop, and that shuts down the two-point conversion. And Morris would get a touchdown and a two-point conversion in the third, and the big win for the shipbuilders, 8-6 over Monterey. Hey, let's go to Cameron Stadium up north. Bangor taking on Brewer. Brewer on the march. Tailback Cam Hughes, the Wildcat snap for the touchdown. Brewer would roll in this one 35-6. And I made a mistake. Thornton and Oxford Hills next week. That right there is Blitz 8. Thanks for watching. Check it out again on WMTW.com.